Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is checking out something very exciting, and that is there is a new Arch Linux distribution called Manjaro. And what they do is they actually wrote a couple different bash scripts, which makes it really easy to install Arch Linux. Now this is awesome because it's gonna allow a lot of people in the Linux community who usually wouldn't have the time or skill set to install Arch to go ahead and use it with ease. It's user friendly, it's up to date, overall it's awesome. They're going to be following the KISS principle, which means keep it simple stupid. Now the default desktop environment for Manjaro Linux is going to be XFCE. And XFCE is awesome because it is a very light, very powerful desktop environment that allows you to do a lot of different things. Okay, now the point of this video is Manjaro Linux came out roughly 10 years ago as of uh, July 9th. And if you're somebody who's been in the Linux space for any amount of time, you're going to know Manjaro Linux is one of the most popular and one of the best Linux distributions out there. Uh, so in this video, what we're going to do is check out their little throwback website and check out Manjaro Linux 0.1.1. <laughs> All right, so here we are on their website, and this is just their little temporary throwback website, but it's still super cool to be able to check out. Right here we have that little description I kind of read off, which it says the things about the Bash scripts for managing graphics, drivers, things like that. You go ahead and read it all right here. Uh, they have about the distribution, so it is Manjaro Linux, they have the architectures, the version number, which is 0.1.1 experimental, their licensing, the GNU public license, the default desktop environment is XFCE, and the live CD size is 684 because then it was nice to be able to put it on a CD, so you didn't have to go make the substantial investment to get blank DVD discs. Now, if we go over to news, this is where we can get some stuff on the new uh, Manjaro release, which is their new release for version uh, 0.1.1. Um, if under the download, I believe there's a link to the change log, so you could go ahead and see that. The shop is open, and wow, they made it 10 years. And then they have this little thing on their release, which for a limited time, if we actually go over to their store, so let's click shop right here, they have some uh, limited release merch for their 10 year anniversary. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description. Now, if we go back to home, we could go ahead and see some screenshots, but I'm not really gonna spend much time on this because I kinda wanna check it out for myself. Uh, if we go into download, I already went ahead and downloaded the version 0.1.1, but that is here. Uh, the first version was released on July 9th of 2011. So I barely missed the uh, actual original release date for making this video, but um, I made it in time for the second version, which was their 1.1 fix that fixed a couple different bugs and things like that. Uh, they have donate, get source, so this is a link to their Git repository. They have about us and here. This is pretty cool. You could actually see some of the uh, developers that were the original developers on the 2011 project. So you can scroll through here and see who was involved. And then if you want to, you could click this, which will take you back to the current modern website, the back to 2021 link. So now that we went ahead and checked out the website, let's fire this up in a virtual machine and uh, see what we got going on here. All right, so we're jumping in here for the first boot and they're giving us quite a bit of time. We have over 200 seconds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, jump in, and select English here, and let's check out what it gives us. Obviously, this is a virtual machine, so I'm going to need to fix the resolution, uh, but we'll go ahead and do all that fun stuff. All right, welcome to Manjaro Linux. Let's see what we got going on here. It's a little stretched out. So first things first, let's see if we could go ahead and change this resolution. And to do that, we're going to need to open up a terminal. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal emulator here. Let's see if they have X. R and R. It's an XOR program, so it should be in here. And it is awesome. It looks like we can get this at 1080p, so let's go X R and R uh, dash S 1920 X 1080. Awesome, we got 1080p Manjaro version 0.1. All right, so the default password for the users of Manjaro is Manjaro and root, okay. Just a little bit of intro stuff, basically the stuff that's on the homepage. So let's go ahead and close that out. 
And at the time, just being able to boot into Arch like this was probably magnificent. I would have had a good time with this if I even had a clue what was going on. Uh, so we have our application menu down here. And if we look up here, I really like what they originally did with this. It kind of is a uh, tiling window manager-esque look, but it's XFCE. So we have our date our time, our kernel version, which is running the 2.6 Arch kernel. That's old. We have our uh, uptime, three minutes so far. Uh, we're using 0% of our CPU and 19% of our RAM. And I just went with the default RAM, so I don't think I gave it hardly any. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, no swap, 46% disk space, and we're not using any internet connection at all. So let's go ahead and open up our home folder. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely looking a little dated. Now this is even more dated than the, it comes from 2011 and I'm pretty sure uh, Windows 7, when did Windows 7 come? Yeah, Windows 7 came out in 2009. So even for the time this look is a little dated, but even today XFCE is looking a little dated. So it, it's still pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead, let's check out our application menu here and see what applications are installed out of the gate. Uh, looks like we have add remove software, so it's using PAMAC. I would assume, I'm not sure if they actually got that far. Let's go ahead and open up that terminal again real quick and just type in PAMAC. Nope, not PAMAC. So this must be a uh, using uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, I can't type today. So yeah, so they didn't have PAMAC yet, but they did have a nice little GUI tool to go ahead and uh, manage your software. So that's pretty nice. Um, so let's go to accessories this just looks like a bunch of typical xfce stuff but obviously much older versions than what we're used to uh, graphics they have gimp out of the gate so it's gimp 2.6 which really based on the tools and everything we're seeing here you can give gimp some credit it has been a very consistent program over the years um, let's go so graphics we saw that uh, multimedia, we have the GNOME M player, Pulse Audio, uh, Network, Firefox is the default out of the gate, Office, we don't really have too much going on, uh, it, currently it ships with an Office suite, but it must have not then, and then Systems, we have, our system, we have some of the basic XFC stuff, we have our File Manager, Terminal, Task Manager, Software Updater, uh, let's open the Software Update, uh, all, everything's up to date apparently. All right, um, so let's go to, let's install this. Let's run through the installer because that was really the uh, main point of this at the time was the fact that you had a really nice GUI installer. So let's go ahead, we are English, uh, English US, next. So it looks like we might not be able to, okay, so I kind of figured it out. I just made a um, swap partition manually it's not as convenient as it currently is, but it's not too bad. So now if I go over here, I could close this out, refresh the list, and then I can set this to my root partition and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and install this. Uh, yes, continue. And here we have our X11 drivers. Uh, VMware is fine for what I'm doing. So we'll go next. Here we have our time zone, so we're going to go with America, and I am in the Los Angeles time zone. No, I do not live in Los Angeles, thankfully. So next, and here we have our keyboard layout. And while we go ahead and do all this, you can see it's copying the files and doing everything we need it to do down there. So select our keyboard layout. Let's just go down to US, I believe. There it is, US, and X11 layout. Let's go down to United States or USA, and then X11 variant. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what to select. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to go with basic. I don't know the what, what it is. This is not a tutorial. I'm just trying to get through the installer. So let's go ahead and hit next. What is your name? Uh, Brandon, no capital letters, of course. So I went ahead and typed all that in. I could log in automatically if I want to, but let's go ahead and hit finish installation. And then you can see it brings that up and an error occurred, probably to do with the uh, option. I didn't know what I was selecting, but I'm just gonna ignore this for now. It's not really the point. The point is to check this out and kind of look back on the past. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Uh, last, <laughs> last thing we'll do is go ahead and go to task manager. 
So let's go ahead and go system, task manager, and here we can kind of see what's going on in our system. We're using 37% of our memory. I'm not exactly sure where to get my total system memory, but I'm pretty sure I gave it 512 megabytes of RAM, which for at the time that was fine. Uh, down here, basic XFCE stuff, we have our different workspaces, so you can go ahead and switch them between those. And down here is where you can control your volume, your networks, and uh, shut down the system here if you need to. Um, there's more applications. There's the web browser file, mail reader, you can use run program. You have all your different settings here. So we have appearance and you could go ahead and change everything to exactly what you'd like. So let's open up this real quick and kind of shuffle through this. So you have simple, simple dark, and you, you can really get this to look good. Uh, you have some default XFCE stuff, but the default's pretty good. I, I like how the default's looking. Uh, we have icons, so you can go and switch between some of the old school GNOME stuff, Tango, but I do like what they had going on. Uh, fonts, you have other settings here. Uh, if we go back into the applications menu, you have a lot more stuff such as your keyboard, display, um, power manager, preferred application, software updates, all kinds of things. Uh, what I'm going to do, so you all can go ahead and play with this if you'd like to, is I'll leave a link down in the description. So you could go ahead and load this up and play with this on a virtual machine if you would like to. But with all that said, I do hope you have a good day and I hope you enjoyed this video. And just overall, a big shout out to the Manjaro team for over the years creating such a wonderful Linux distribution that thousands, tens of thousands of people enjoy on a daily basis. Uh, I'm using Endeavor OS right now, but Manjaro Linux over the last year has definitely been where I've spent my most time. So again, thank you to those Manjaro developers. And thank you to all of you guys for watching this video, liking it, supporting me, uh, subscribing and ringing that bell so you do not miss any future uploads. With all that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.